All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back. I'm gonna do a quick video of my uh of my CDO hot shop setup now. As you know, before I was non CDL, but now I'm CDL. The opportunity came up to uh, uh, move up in trucks because before I had a 14 Ram 2500. It was these little Cummins, everything. And the opportunity came up to move up to a 3500, you know, Cummins and everything. And uh, it's still the same trailer, but now, obviously, the only difference now is the truck. And uh, now I'm CDL. So I'll give you a quick walk around of the truck. So it is a uh, 2018 Ram 3500 Cummins. And it has the high output engine in it and also with this being the high output engine it comes with the acing transmission and uh, one ton axle so let me show you the engine real quick so as you see way different from my other engine because my other truck it's all stock everything stock no diet but you know wink wink it's all stock and then to know if your truck is a ASIN or the 68 RV your transmission dipstick will be on the right side if you're looking at the truck the the driver's side and there's your dipstick you know engine oil and your tranny dipstick and this is the the ASIN, ISIN uh, transmission. It's still the 67 Cummins diesel. Like I said, everything here is his, his stock. I got parts at the house waiting for me. And uh, you'll see that coming in. Or you'll see that up here soon. But other than that, man, uh, yeah. Nothing fancy here. Just your 67. But this time, like I said, it has the ASIN transmission. And again, this is how you know if you have an ace in your tranny dipsticks on the right side, the driver's side, and not the left side. Alright. Let me close the hood real quick. And as you see, it's the same front end as the, the 14. So, like I said, other than, you know, being a different truck, now I'm CDL. Real quick. Let me explain to you or go over with you real quick of how you know if you're set up a CDL or non CDL when you get put into a way station when the officer does his uh does his uh, paperwork all that stuff and his inspections he'll come in here and he'll look at your do door jam and here's what he's gonna look at. He's going to look at the GVWR, and as you see, on um, 14,000. My other truck was, uh, was 10,000, so that's how I was non CDL. But real quick, stay with me now. The GVWR is 14,000. The DUC officer will look at that, and then he'll come to the trailer. Like I said, we're 14,000, and. The trailer GVWR is 14,000. So 1414, 14, we are at a 28,000. And it doesn't matter if you're if you're empty, if you got 100 pounds. With that 14,000 and the truck 14,000, you're 28,000. So therefore, you're over the 26,001, and. Uh, your CDL, yeah, I don't mind the mess. Like, I just don't mind the mess. So, that's how you know your CDL. You know, if you want to say different, blah, 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 okay, you go ahead. But I've had my inspections. I've talked to the duty officers. And that's how they determine if you're CDL or non-CDL. When it comes to IFTA, that's a different story. I already did a video on that. Or IFTA. And CDO license is two different things. And yeah, I'm 28,000 pounds, both stickers. It doesn't matter, like I said, you could be empty, one pound, whatever. 
you're 28,000, you're so, so your CDL doesn't matter. When it comes to IFTA, if, when you physically weigh 26,001 pounds physically, you have to run IFTA. I don't reach those numbers. Like the highest I've gone is 25,000, so therefore I don't reach the numbers to register under IFTA. That's why you don't see no IFTA stickers on my truck. I got magnets, I take them off. But you don't, I don't run IFTA because I don't exceed the weight of 26,000 pounds. And let me show you real quick. Let me cover up my plate. See, and on my plates, I'm not going to show my number, but yes, 26,000 pounds. That's what I'm registered at, and I cannot go over that. When I go over that, then I have to, I have to bump it up to 32,000 pounds and register for IFTA. But that's a different, different video for another time. So back to my CDO setup that's why that's the only thing that if you want to be non-cdl you got to find a truck that the gvwr is going to be at least ten thousand, and the trailer 14 or even sixteen thousand. but yeah i'm cdl i got my license and uh yeah so that's why i'm now cdl like yeah it's a 30 foot trailer i'll show you the trailer here in a second but yeah this is my new uh, CDL setup. So Ram 3500 with the Cummins 67 Asian transmission, one ton axle, and it's the same trailer. I'll show you the inside here in a second. Got the dual wheels, the mud flaps, and let's see if you can see the axle, the one ton axle. I already did the video on it when I saw the new diff cover, and the temps are running really cooler. And if you know about Banks Power, then you know that you're in good hands. And if you want more information or further in depth in my video, what I'm saying, then you can go onto YouTube or galebanks.com, whatever, and get more information. But yeah, I got that to market uh, differential cover, and it runs way cooler. And then for the bumper hitch, it's a Class 5, uh, which is... Uh, 20,000 pounds and then if the truck's missed you don't mind it I talk back there but yeah this is an 8 foot bed and when it comes for the for the pigtail got it inside because I don't, I don't like running it over the tailgate but pigtail goes in there got my fire extinguisher yes it goes there how do you have guilty says it's fine you can go there because it's accessible you can put it on the trailer or whatever, but Guilty said, hey, you're good where it's at. It's fine. No big deal. But yeah, I'm on vacation right now, and yeah, it's kind of dirty and all that. Um, the inside of the truck, it's like, it's like, it's, it's a, it's, it's a tradesman. So nothing fancy, you know, I kept it simple because it's my work truck, man. I don't, I don't care for all the bills and whistles. But this time I got the plastic cover, so easier to clean up. It's a mess right now, so I'm on vacation traveling. But yeah, it's nothing fancy, y'all. Nothing fancy. Same with the back seat. Don't, don't mind the mess. So done it, chop block. But yeah, a couple of straps. But the back seat's big. But yeah, and I don't sleep in my truck. I get hotels or. Usually I do same day turn and burns. Um, it has a three point seventy three uh, gear ratio. Um, yeah, it's nothing fancy. The max this truck in tow is thirty thousand pounds. Like you might think, yeah, it's overkill with that baby trailer you got, but uh, I got plans. I'm gonna go to a forty footer here later on. So that's why when the opportunity came for this uh, for this truck, I'm like, you know what? I'm getting a 40-footer later on. So I was like, yeah, I'll get the truck. But yeah, there's that. Just your basic dually truck. And then the trailer is low trail. It's a 2023. It's a 30-footer. And uh, it's got your... Uh, 
7K axles. You got your 7K axles. So 14,000 pounds. You got the got the max ramps on it. And yes, they do come in handy. So I've uh, I've towed some uh some skeesters and that pole trail I showed you, and yeah, it works, man. It's becoming it handy. Yes, brokers will work with you if you got max ramps, so don't shy away from max ramps. Yeah. Yeah, 7K Dexter axles. So 25 plus plus five uh, low trail. And the trailer by itself had it weighed and it came out to what a little over 5,000 pounds and the most I've had on this trailer is maybe like 7,500 pounds and uh, it gets the job done guys like you really don't need a 40 footer I'm getting a 40 footer because I got a new customer that they want a 40 footer and I don't start that little contract with them until at least uh, I think July July or August so they need a 40 footer because it'll be a AC unit but that's that's the point so uh do you need a 40 footer no not really 30 footer gets it done it's bigger in person once you once you're looking at it way bigger but 30 footer you can get it done because i've i've had i really haven't used all 30 feet of it but but yeah it works man all right guys this uh my uh my new uh cdo hot shot setup no the truck is not overkill for that 30 footer it's perfect once, once you see it in person it's a it's a good combination uh yeah so 2018 ram 3500 with the high output cummins engine acing transmission one ton axle and then my 2023 low trail 25 plus 5 trailer with the Dexter 7k axles mega uh, max ramps um, but yeah guys now we're doing CDL I got my CDL license so don't worry but yeah hope you like the new setup I love it man it's, it's a beast and again no it's not overkill a dually on a 30 foot trailer it's not overkill alright guys well Stay tuned. I got a lot of more. Got a lot more videos coming up. Just uh, work and stuff. All right, guys. This is my uh, CDO setup. Till next time.